Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do an introduction for a new project. This is the Graveyard Project Pan and it was created by Emily at Emily and Max here on YouTube. This is a project that is specifically geared for those products that are either collecting cobwebs in your collection or that you have had in previous project pans and that you just weren't able to either meet your goal on or finish. So for this project, you can select up to 10 items from, I think it's five to 10 items for the project. So it can be a combination of the collecting cobwebs or of items that have been in previous projects. So I decided to go with four from each category and I had to kind of go digging into the uh, archive of my projects to find some collecting cobwebs. I do try to finish things eventually, not maybe not necessarily in that project, but finish most things eventually. Things like blush, no. And I did not want to bring in any more lip products because I have plenty of them in projects right now. I do not need to add any more lip products. I kind of went broad and added things into this project that I don't really have uh, that I'm using for the most part. Maybe not so much in the things that I had previously panned, but definitely in the collecting cobwebs. Cats are running around. So let me start with that. Let me start with the collecting cobwebs. Now these four items, so there's four from each category, the, these four items I want to finish. So the first item I have been like secretly trying to pan for a long time and I want to finish it. I feel like I'm so close. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And like there's no writing on it anymore because I've had it for so long that the writing on the outside has all flaked off. And at this point I've taken the stopper out. So it is like a hot mess. <laughs> but at this point I'm, I'm so happy because I think I'm getting so close to finishing this because previously I would take this wand out and it would be completely covered in brow gel and now it's not i mean it's it's covered in brow gel but you should have seen it before i mean it was a hot mess so i want to finish this and i don't necessarily use this every single time i do my makeup i sometimes forget to apply this product so hopefully by having it in this project i will remember to do it and i forgot to say the dates of this project it starts today April 30th and I'm hoping that I put this up on April 30th. I may be a day late. Hopefully not, but I may be up, I may be putting this up a day late. We'll see if I can get it edited on time. If I can get it edited and posted on time. The dates are April 30th through October 31st. And like I said, hopefully I'll have this up on the 30th, but I may be a day late. So the next item is the Lancome Sills Booster XL. So, and it's this little mini. And this is basically a mascara primer. And I find these little minis last for freaking ever. <laughs> Forever. I don't know what it is about these little mini primers. Now, I don't think there's very much left in here. So it, there is a decent amount that comes out on the wand, but I kind of have to go digging around the sides to actually get a decent amount on the wand. So I don't think there's very much left in here, but I, again, kind of like that clear brow gel, I forget to use this consistently. So hopefully by having it in this project, I will remember to apply it to my lashes before my mascara and get it finished because my I really like the Estee Lauder primer and the Urban Decay subversive lash primer which I have a full size of and I'd like to crack that one open and get it used up I don't think I have any other lash primers I may have a mini of the Estee Lauder like black black 
lash primer and may have a mini of that. But other than that, I just have that Herbert Decay Subversion lash primer and that's it. Okay, the third item in my collecting cobwebs is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer, and it's this little mini size. So again, I want to finish this up. I had previously been working on the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the, sh in the Enigma shade, and this was doing great until I switched to setting my primer with the Pure pressed mineral powder. These do not jive at all. It looks terrible together. I I think I tried it for like three or four days and I was like, I just can't, I can't do this anymore. Terrible. It looks terrible. And I don't know if it's going to do a similar thing on my hand, but let's see. Guys, hear those cats running around. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see. I don't know if you can if you can tell. It's cakey, and especially on the delicate area of your lid, it looks bad. I mean, it just looks so bad. So at first I was like, this powder sucks sucks. I hate this powder. I hate this powder. Blech. And then I was thinking, I think I was driving around and I was like, maybe it's just that the primer and the powder don't like each other. Because I've had that happen before. And I've specifically had it happen with the pr this, this product specifically, this product specifically. So I decided today I pulled out the Too Faced Shadow Insurance just to test my theory. And it worked out beautifully. <laughs> what are those cats doing? Okay. Oh, no. Can you? I, hopefully you guys can see the difference between that and that because this is smooth and this, wait, this, that is a hot mess. It's like night and day to me. And on my eyes, especially, it's night and day. Hopefully you guys can see that. Ugh. And especially on like, like the edges, like right here, that's where I, if you don't get it just right, it just looks so bad. So I was like, I have to switch, you know, even though I ha I really wanted to continue working on this because I've been, I feel like I've been doing a good job on this. I am, yeah, I'm like, you know, I've, I've gotten a fair good amount of use on this, but I had to switch. So I want to finish this and I want to be able to obviously use this up and then continue to work on this powder because I want to hit pan on this. And you can see I've got a bit of a dip going there. And my goal is to hit pan on this powder. So I want to be able to continue to use it. And in order to do that, I need to switch up my primer. That's why I'm bringing in that shadow insurance. And I really do love the shadow insurance. I was just wanting to work on that primer potion because I had opened it and had used it before and it was working fine with the Lorac shadows but it needs it needs this pure powder needs the Too Faced shadow insurance and I do prefer the shadow insurance anyway okay the next the last item in the collecting cobwebs is the MAC prep and prime fix plus prep and prime fix plus spray and uh, I'm bringing in this full size. So uh, this is the cherry blossom scent. And I finished a spray that I was working on. And so I need a new spray. And my Fix Plus 
collection is somewhat large. You too. So I need to work through them and I think this may be one of my older bottles because this is the this is this is a an from an a collection from a, a, a couple years ago. So I want to work this out. And I love Fix Plus. Love it, love it, love it. It's my favorite. Okay, so those are my collecting cobwebs. Now let's talk about my old project pan items. Okay, so the first one is from an A to Z project pan from 2019. This needs to be worked out at some point. Okay, this is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. And this, I, I mean, I've worked on this. It is this product here. And I know they've reformulated this and it's not as good as the original. This is the original formula and old. So this is how I am doing on this. And I've recently pulled this out. So, you know, we all have things about our face, our skin that bother us, right? And I've always had this thing about a little divot here that irritates me from just doing, like making this little motion here. I always do that. So I have a little wrinkle right here. And so I like to put a little bit of this in that spot. And I also notice that on this side of my face, I have a little bit of a laugh line starting to form and I do I do want to get a tiny my plan is to get a tiny teeny tiny bit of like little bitty a bit a little bit amount of filler like unnoticeable amount of filler just to fill that in but until then I'm gonna I want to use this my goal is to use so I should say all of these are that are in the graveyard section are usage goals. So my goal is to use this 20 times and whether it be in these areas here or in other areas, cause I do have other areas that I would like to fill in. That's what I want to use this for. So that's that first one, <laughs> this one. So I actually have this, had this in my monochromatic year project for April. My goal was to use this five times. And I decided that I think this is perfect for usage goal projects. So this is the ColourPop eye pencil. And I remember the shade, it's Get Paid. You can't even tell because the, the writing on this is all gone. I mean, well, it's actually on this side. There's no more writing on it. I've had it so long. I mean, you can see there, it's like all flaking off and I can't even, it doesn't say the shade because it's all flaked off. Anyway, so that's the color there on the end. And then uh, it's broken in like two or three different spots. So this is what this shade looks like. And I just have a, I mentioned this in that monochromatic year project. I have a really hard time using colored eyeliners. I'm a black liner girl all the way. Like you give me a black eye pencil and I will use it until it's a nub. I mean, I have no problems using black eyeliner, but colored pencils like this, I just have a hard time with. But I do want to work on this. And this time of year, spring, summer is perfect because I'm where like even like a color, like a look like this, I could have worn it, right? And with that Lorac palette, when I'm just throwing that palette on my eyes really fast, this liner is perfect for that look. Even if I'm doing the top lash line with black, I can do the bottom lash line with this pencil. So I want to use this 20 times over the course of this project, so. I would like to get that accomplished. And that, 
a product was originally in the Golden Girls project from 2018. It was started in 2018. It went into 2019. So yeah, it's a big old graveyard. Okay, this next item was in the Rocky Horror Panning Show project from 2020. So this was last year. And this is the Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Love. And this is a really beautiful blush. And my goal for this originally was to clear the imprint. And I mean, I got close, but it's funny because when you put a brush in here, the imprint like comes back fierce. Like, yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> really? It's a gorgeous, gorgeous blush. I remember freaking loving this. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. So my goal for this, again, is to use it 20 times. I mean, I'm painting several blushes, so I don't want to take away from my progress too much on those but I do want to get some use on this it's really pretty it's great for the summertime and I think it would go really well it's it's a really great neutral blush for that purple any purple eye look that I do because the purple looks are very dramatic and so having a like a neutral blush like this it's perfect for that. So I think that's why it's a great addition to the project and to my kind of everyday makeup using selection for right now because I'm using so many like purple looks or purple shadows right now. So that's why I brought it in. So again, 20 times on that. Actually, all of these are 20 times. I should have just said that from the beginning. And the last item was in the Pan Your Pets Personality project. And this was also from 2019. This, it was a 2019 project, I should say. And this is the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Charming Pink. And this is what this highlighter looks like. And this is mm, pretty. Mm, pretty. So that is what that highlighter looks like. It is just stunning. I'm a little worried it may be a bit too bright for me in the summertime. I can also mix it. Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, when you when you blend it out, it's just fantastic. Mmm. I really did love this. I can't remember what my goal was for this. What was my goal? Yeah, I can't remember what my goal was for this. It, I would have to go digging and I don't have really have the time for that, but I may have wanted to like clear the middle imprint or I doubt I'd wanted to hit pan. I don't think that pro the project was that long. I had chosen this for I had written this down. My fluff monster Milo is mellow and absolutely charming us with crossed eyes because his eyes kind of crossed. And this is the, the color. This color is called charming pink. Oh, so cute. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, 20 times on this one, too. And again, the, this is goes through October, so I don't think I'll have any problem using any of these 20 times, any of these graveyard items 20 times. So anyway, that is my update for this project. Thank you so much, Emily, for creating this awesome project. Fantastic idea. I love the two like prompt ideas of collecting cobwebs and graveyard items. Mm. Love it. It's such a great idea. So I will leave all the information down below. There's also like a sign up spreadsheet. So if you're interested in doing this project, I will link the spreadsheet as well. And yeah, I think that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well, staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Bye. I diffused my hair and it is like crazy. Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome back. I'm here today to do an introduction for a new project. This is the Graveyard Project Pan, and it was created by Emily at Emily and Max here in YouTube. 
and YouTube. Is that what I said? <laughs> I don't know if that's what I said. So I have been previously, but I, hmm. Oh my God, I've got to go to bed. It is bed, it is so past bedtime. Hopefully my lighting is okay, y'all. I don't know, I fudged with it. And I hope I didn't mess it up. That's why my, that's why I'm doing this so late at night because I had to do all kinds of stuff with my camera. Nah. <laughs> I need sleep. I still haven't done my like low buy update or edited my empties video. I'm so behind. <sighs> Please forgive me.